Hello YouTube community. That's what it's called. Um, Henning Pauli here yet again with another Harley Benton pedal test demo. And we're going to go right into it. We are looking at the digital delay. Wrong. It's not a digital delay. No idea why they write that on there. A digital delay implies that you have an exact copy of what you're playing. So you play a note and then you hear it undegraded exactly back, uh, which will require sampling of that note and it requires digital uh, technology. This will actually get you a repeat that is not as good as the original. It degrades and the more it repeats, the more you have feedback, it uh, actually will degrade. And um, I mean, sound, um, you will. Duller has less high end. Uh, it's a copy of the copy of the copy. But that's the sound we want. It's a beautiful sound. Um, and uh, there are much, 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 much more expensive devices that do that. So this is not a digital delay. It actually is an analog delay. But it sounds amazing. If you actually know how to set it up, you're going to be very happy with this thing. With this thing. Um, okay, we're going through a La Boga Alligator 50 in clean. It sounds like this. Beautiful sound, perfect for what we're trying to do. So I'm going to show you the thing in clean and also in a solo mode, which is where you want to delay. The Yu guitar players that play solo stuff without any effects, you're fighting too hard to make your sound shine, to make your sound soar and sing. Um, it just doesn't work. Works this much in blues, but just put a little bit of stuff on there and it's going to be so much easier for you to have a nice sound. Um, where was I? Uh, the settings on this thing, very simple. Oh, uh, Alligator 50, that's where I was. And um, PRS Modern Eagle 2, right now, front pickup, 5708, in single coil mode. Oh, humbucker. We're gonna go single coil for the first demo. Very nice guitar. Um, the amp is mic'd with a Sennheiser E606 microphone kind of SM57 like. It's in an ISO cabinet down the basement. Uh, the cabinet is a Fender Hot Rod 50. It's actually the combo where I took the amp out because that speaker is just brilliant. It's the best speaker I have and I've got a lot of. Um, so settings. We have the time. What time is it? Well delay time. <laughs> Pretty sure if you want a nice slapback, one of them. That's not even slapback, that's just nothing. Pretty sure if you do this. You have a room sound, which is, you have a very, very short delay time, but you have a repeat. So it's exactly what happens to the sound waves in a room. Very cool, but probably not why you want a delay. This is why you want a delay. So we crank up the time. As you can see, true bypass. And it's not a lie, it actually is. Now, the time knob is kind of weird because when I check it out, at a certain point it just doesn't get longer. Doesn't sound a lot longer to me. So nothing really happens there. Don't know what the dealio is. But that's what happens and uh, it still sounds good. 
Uh, repeat is feedback, meaning I take the output, my delayed signal, and feed it back into the input. It degrades a little bit more every time, but it also lasts a lot longer. Oh, it's still there. So what you can do is nice fade things. level is actually not your general output level. If you put that on zero, it's dry. So it's actually a mix. See if we only have So the dry signal is always there, it's just a mix uh pot actually. So with this pedal, there's no way to um, only get the delayed sound, which I don't really need that. Did I mention it's only 29.90? So you can get feedback with this, meaning you crank up the repeat to where it actually puts more output into the input than the input to... Blah. So that's what happens. Very nice. So what we're gonna do is gonna load up this track and first we're gonna find out how fast it is. faster. Yeah, it's about right. There we go. Nice repeat, nice level. That's what we want. So, this is how this would work. demo we're going to go into a distorted sound where's my track gonna have to find the time
bit longer. Maybe a bit less, and we're actually going to go distorted. Um, it's a very inexpensive pedal, it's got a great sound, it's not the most flexible delay pedal in the world, but that's not the point of a one-trick pony. Um, you gotta be careful with the repeat, because too much, you know, you get this. Sometimes one might want this. Um, you find your settings and you go, it's got a really beautiful sound, and just to widen things, to make it easier for you to play, uh, it, this is definitely going to be my new favorite toy. I'm gonna just put this behind everything. So, I don't really know what more to say. Click on the next video, right there. Like you, you see me like this, right there. Next video, tons of pedals. Uh, for how much these are, you can actually afford a whole bunch of them. I. I got them and I love them. I'm gonna put them all behind each other. Anyway, not so, uh, on to the next video.